Hi and welcome to Sunny Day Stamping. I'm Julie Baca. Today we're going to be making a pocket card that has an insert that you pull out. I absolutely love pocket cards. I don't know why I don't make them more often, so we are due to make one. I'm so excited to get started on that. Before that though, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And welcome to all you returning uh, subscribers. Um, I have a corresponding blog post that goes along with this video. There's a link in the description that'll take you directly over there where you can see additional photos. You can get all of the measurements because I want you to be able to make these at home and you'll find a list of supplies there also. So you can just sit back, relax, and enjoy the video and then head over to the blog post to get all the details after that. All right, let's get started. So here's our really super simple pocket card and then you make a little insert to put inside. This is what you'd write on. And let me just show you, this is actually the other side of this designer series paper. Designer series paper is double-sided um, and it coordinates with all of Stampin' Up's card stocks and inks so you can make everything all matchy and look awesome with very little effort and we're going to be using this designer series paper today to do most of the decorating um, and the way we're going to fold this pocket we're going to be able to see both sides which makes it really such a quick and easy card to put together now you can see that you can change up the whole look of this card just by picking a different designer series paper i'm going to be using the fresh as a daisy um set to show you some examples but change out the paper and you've got a totally different look now we're going to be using the timeless arrangements to just do the sentiment uh the greeting on the front and and on the inside um this is such a versatile set let me show you i, I just love this set because it's got i love when they combine printing with cursive i think that looks so beautiful and this comes with so many great words to put on the inside of cards and then you can buy the die set also which cuts out all of these elements and also has three excellent labels that are like um you know in varying widths so that is really handy but the brilliance of this set are these um dies that come with it that have this bar so all this fancy schmancy little details are connected to a bar that makes it so easy to attach on your card so you're not having to mess with little pieces, but you get the look of a card that has a lot of little pieces. This is all on one strip. I'm gonna show you how to do that and how this is gonna make your life easier. Now, we are, like I always like to do, I like to not use a ton of products um, because I think that makes stamping just so much more quick. We are using, for this example, two colors of ink, Pretty Peacock and Crushed Curry. Um, we're gonna do use that for the stamping, but we're also using that for the card stocks. Now for my other examples, I'm gonna add one more color because I just took my pack of designer series paper and picked three colors that worked with everything. And so we're gonna use these colors of cardstock and this color of ink. That makes it so if you're a new stamper and you don't have a ton of supplies, you can see how you can use this project just by buying some designer series paper, pick three colors and three, three colors of ink and three colors of cardstock that work and you can make a ton of great stuff. Now the first thing I want to do is show you how to cut your designer series paper. I've got the measurements on there but there is a, an efficient way to cut it um, so you can get the most bang for your buck out of this paper. Now the designer series paper that I'm using is a, comes in these big 12 by 12 sheets but and I don't know about you but this intimidates me it intimidates me cutting this um because I love pretty paper and I don't want to mess it up so I want to show you how to do this so the first thing that you're going to need to do if you're cutting these large sheets which actually you need a large sheet for this project you want to extend this arm out I love this paper trimmer that they have it be able to be compact and you only need to extend the arm when you got a big thing going on here so now you're going to take your paper and we need to cut it at 10 and a quarter now if you're only making one pocket card you're going to go ahead and cut this at four inches making sure that the direction of your paper is going up and down like this if like this doesn't really have a direction but let's say the my flowers are going up this way i'd cut it at four and then you would cut it down to the 10 and a quarter. But if you're gonna make three cards out of this one piece of paper, which you can do, we are going to rotate it and we're gonna just cut it off the bottom at 10 and a quarter.
Now you're going to rotate it so the direction of your paper is going up and down, and we're going to cut it at four. And you're going to be able to do this one more time. And now we have you can make three pocket pocket cards out of one piece of paper, which is actually super cheap. <laughs> but now we're not going to um, we're not going to make it out of this color today. I want to do this one, which is all in that same pack of paper. Now this is already cut down to the correct size, and all those measurements are on my website. Like I said, my email subscribers are going to get this print and make project sheet in their email. Um, and if you would like this, you can sign up for my email. There's a link in the description to do that. And this gets emailed out on Friday morning. Now take your piece of designer series paper and we're going to do some scoring, but it's important that if you're, um, if your paper has a direction, like I want this one to be able to go like this, because I want to see these big flowers. I want these to make sure to have your direction going this way, pointed towards the right when we do this scoring. And we are scoring at five and a quarter. Get your cutter blade out of the way. I, I did that once. <laughs> Score it at five and a quarter and nine and a quarter. Okay, so now this is all ready, but I'm actually going to show you how to cut the cardstock. If you're new to stamping, I think the best thing to do is to cut all of your projects first. Cut all the papers first. So go to your list of supplies and get all of this done first. So we're going to cut this cardstock in half at five and a half. This can be used for another card, another pocket card. And then you're going to rotate this and cut it at four and a quarter, which would be kind of what you normally would do. And now we're going to cut this at three and five eighths. And we're left with this little strip here, which we're going to use to decorate our cards. You can leave it like this, but I'm actually going to um, line it up with the half inch line, the half inch on this side. Now I'm going to show you what this paper cutter can do. It's going to cut off the tiniest little eighth inch of a strip here. And we're going to use this to decorate our card. And I'm going to show you, it's going to look so cool. Now we've got one more piece. So this is, now we need to rotate this and cut it at four and seven eighths. So you don't need to remember all those measurements. They're over on my website or on this print and make project sheet. So this is the back of our card. This is going to be the back of our insert. And then we're going to use these pieces to decorate and close the pocket. So after I get all my paper cutting done, I like to do my die cutting and we are going to just pick out what um, foliage that we want. I'm only going to use one, but man, you could use all of these and really make it a really full arrangement if you want. And then pick a label and then we're going to run these through the cut and emboss machine. See, so that cuts out. Look at the little design around the edge. I love that little detail. And then you're just going to um, get this out of the die like this. If it's a little bit stuck, just kind of, I'm just pulling just a little bit of pressure to get that out of there. Perfect. All right, so now we're going to stamp on our cut piece and on the inside. So you just go and you pick what you want to be on the front and something for the inside. And then maybe a little piece of foliage or something to decorate the inside of the card. Now this stamp set is photopolymer, so it has these clear stamps. So I actually like to cut out my die cuts first. And then I'm going to stamp on it because I can see through that stamp. I feel like I can get it uh, on there pretty good. And then this one I actually did not do well on. Good example. <laughs> but you know what? I think that's going to be just fine. And now grab the inside of your card and put a little greeting on the inside. And then I'm just going to use these little circles and kind of do them twice. One dark and one light. I think that looks pretty cool. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and glue these pieces together. Remember, we already cut our colored cardstock. There it comes. It was a little slow going. This is going to go inside of our pocket. Now, let me show you how to put these on. I just put a little bit of glue right along that edge there and then just put my label on top wherever I think that should go. So it can go all the way to the side or kind of in the middle. And then you can layer, you can layer a bunch of these on top. I'll show you in an example that I made where I used several pieces. All right, so let's make our pocket. We're gonna fold it along the score lines that we made. 
like this and it's supposed to have that little it's not folding completely in half there's a little lip there and I'm just even though I scored it I do want to make sure that it is nice and flush so if I made any error in scoring it I'll just push it out with that bone folder and then there's a score line here do you see it and we're going to fold it back on itself revealing the inside of that paper which just looks so cool it looks like we did so much work but we didn't we're just folding back the inside of the paper now we're going to take those little strips that we have we're not even going to glue this shut we're going to use these to to um, adhere them and you can if you want you can just do one uh, strip and I'm just folding it around the edge like that to hold it in place but if you want to use this tiny little piece we're going to scoop this up a little bit and we'll put the tiny piece underneath. But I'm gonna tape this in place first. So I've got it kind of pinched on the sides. I'm gonna turn it down on my table and then I'll be able to hold that in place. It's not going anywhere um, because uh, it's against the table. And then we're gonna tape these little ends. Wow, I totally did not do that well. Okay, let's do this again. We're gonna tape the little end, there we go, like that. And so that's gonna be right in place. Now we're gonna add the other little piece just right underneath it. And we don't even have to mess with glue. I mean, this is such an easy project. And we're just gonna wrap around, wrap around. So then hold that down and tape that little tag in place. Now I do like to go back and make sure that it didn't shift because look, that totally shifted. So now I'm gonna pull it down a little bit like that. And you may have to like retape it on the back. See, it's perfect. So now we're just gonna glue this onto the card base that we made. And now the last thing we have to do is attach our label. You can put it down here, but I really liked it up here at the top extending um, into the pocket so that when you put your paper in, it really shows that off. You can glue it directly on, but I love to pop it up with some dimensionals. And so we will put those on. And it's got these little uh, backs on them, which you can peel off with your fingernail or you can use your take your pick tool. There you go. Let me show you the others. So with all of these examples, keep in mind, I only used these colors of ink and then the coordinating card stocks with those inks. So if, if you have more colors and more card stocks, you could add them in for more interest if you want. Um, but, and these are all using that same designer series paper. So here's these, this one, I cut out white greenery, um, which kind of looks cool. And now this one, I, I really layered on more of that foliage to give you an idea what that looks like. And if you have the time and want to cut out more, you can do that. If you want your cards to look just like mine, you can purchase all the supplies right from my website, sunnydaystamping.com. There's a link in the description of this video to take you to a blog post, and I'll list all the supplies there. And I list a comprehensive list, everything that I use, so that you don't have any, any uh, doubts or questions about what I'm using. But if you do have questions, please leave me a comment or reach out to me. I would absolutely love to help. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week for my next video. Have a sunny day.